always loved singing and I love music and that's what I want to be doing forever and ever and ever. Forever young. I feel a strong affection and uh, strong feelings for Kosama pretty much after the first week. It's been more than a decade since Perth's Cosima DeVito first burst onto the music scene. Now living in Sydney and still singing, the 38-year-old is about to release her third album. My love shines true always. I've been delving into the dance music a little bit as well, which has been really fun. It allows me to have my big vocals and I really lo I love the club circuit and, and I have a very big love for that kind of music at the moment as well. So I have a few tracks that are that I like that a little bit more fast. I have a temporary condition that's affecting my voice. It's a new look and sound for the former Idol contestant. Cosima famously pulled out of the show after making it to the final three. It's forced me to make the decision to leave the competition. Guy Sebastian went on to win. Cosima tried to go it alone. Her first album was bankrolled by her family, who took out a loan and sold property to raise more than a million dollars. It's a big ask. And as, as kids, some, as children sometimes when we're young, we can be selfish. In hindsight, she doesn't believe her family's sacrifice was money well spent. I look back at, on everything that I've learnt now about how, how, how things work and how much certain things should cost. I look back and think, oh, like, <laughs> I wish I had known that back then because I clearly overpaid for a lot. I clearly overpaid for a lot of things and it was their money and that's the part that kills me. And an even harder lesson was the bitter court dispute with her manager in which Cosima was ordered to pay $30,000. So how do you move on from something like that? You kind of wake up one morning and kind of go, OK, Cos, just go back to what, why it is that you're here in Sydney and why, why it is that you went on that show. You went on that show because you love music. And she worries about today's young stars not being as savvy as they should. When you become famous like that instantly, you get surrounded by so many people and all of a sudden you just like, oh, what's the right thing to do? And you just, you lose the plot a little bit. I'll be honest with you, you really do. Because it's just too much too soon. It took her years to get back on track, professionally and personally. After 10 years of being single, she then investigated having a child using a sperm donor. You get to that place where you think, you know, if I, I haven't met anyone and if I wait, then I may not be able to have one. But just months after undergoing tests, she met Gus de Romanis. I remember looking at her in the eyes and then I just couldn't keep my eyes away from her for too long. A butcher in Sydney, he proposed to Cosima just three months after they met. After the first date, we spoke and we had a bit of a chat and um, pretty much put our cards on the table and spoke about what we like and what we didn't like and what we wanted and so forth and I just knew then. But I said, I want to wait a little bit, otherwise you'll think I'm mad. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally. Life is funny sometimes. Um, yeah, one year away from my 40th. My parents are very happy, I think, um, coming from an Italian family. With a wedding to plan and an album to release, she's now looking forward to the next chapter. How many kids do you want? <laughs> Don't ask as me. many as I'm blessed to have. <laughs> Because you're not having Two, one. three. <laughs> He's convinced we're going to have twins because there's twins on my side going back and on his side too. You did good, Bob. <laughs>